All right, we got our direct AK lift and going to load it up. Sold it to a buddy. And uh, this is actually how I load it, by the way. Jack the legs up with a jack, a floor jack. Stuff a two by four in each pole shaft. Pretty insane, right? <laughs> you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, long story short. Uh, Mr. Keith didn't have exactly everything in perfect uh, position. So what happened was the cable snapped. This main cable here comes out to a plate with four cables. This is what's left in one. These are all routed through pulley system. You can see that thing spun all the way and it's actually that leg over there that we're gonna replace. Gonna do the nut at the top. I've got a replacement cable. This piece goes to that plate I just showed you, and this piece goes to the shaft the leg of it. This nut on the top gets undone, washer put back on, and put right back up in there. There's a good shot of it, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this, and uh, we'll resume in a minute here. Let me get this other one off. But, uh, this right here. You got a double nut. I'm um, unsure on size right this second, but I'll give you some more details in a minute. We're gonna pull both those off. One's a backing nut. And if you look at this plate closely, it's a two-piece plate, so it's gotta be loosened up, and then we should be able to get these right out. So, there you go. Let me get that popped apart. I'll show you what we're doing and how to replace it. All right, back at it. We got our inch and a socket. Our 16th inch and a 16th. For this one connected to the cable. All right, we just pulled our cable through. Inch and a 16th nut. It does have a back washer behind it. We're gonna pull this through. And what I did, this pulley right here, that's why I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, sell this one to my boy. He can put it indoors. I already got them there set up in the garage there. But anyway, there was a uh, small plate that held the dowel of that uh, uh, pulley in. Two 14 inch or 14 uh, millimeter bolts. And like I said, this little dowel right here just went in and that uh, dowel has a rod that it has a notch for this right here to lock it in place now we got to pull the cable through this would be a hair right here and now there's one more pulley underneath that I'll try to catch this in the next little piece okay next step we are under uh, the one leg of the lift here There we go. Let me see if I can swap that up and make that work a little better. And uh, let me give you a size on these uh, hardware here. This and the backing. We'll go ahead and pop this off real quick first. And right here. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Not, not as well. There we go. Ah, that's a little better. That's a pretty good size one here. Yeah, inch and five sixteenths, and it's bigger than that. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to find out. I apologize. I do have a bigger set, but I gotta walk all the way across the field to get it. So we're gonna leave that be. And I'm gonna pull this, and it was actually loose. I don't know if it should have been probably right out the gate, honestly. But both of these felt pretty darn loose. I'm going to back this off a little bit more so we can get this other plate. See what I just did? Move that out. Actually get this one off now. So we're loose. There's our hanging from a thread piece. And we're going to see if we can pull this out through this side. I hope if not, 
there it looked like there was a bunch of stuff to uh, assemble and whatnot. There we go, we actually did get it out. Out of the way there. And let's go ahead and pull this the rest of the way through. I'm gonna make sure there's no hardware in there. And there you go, straight shot right across both sides. Pull that out. Next thing uh, would probably be the best common sense I can offer. We put these cables side by side and see if they are the same length. And like I said, the lift, this is a direct 8K four post. And I believe the plus model because of the fact that it's taller than the regular. So we're gonna line up our ends. And then obviously we gotta straighten this one out too. But yeah, if you're sitting outside, you can definitely see some wear on this thing. And honestly, I'm gonna say this is pretty darn close. Looks like that one's actually stretched. But it looks like all these actually end at the point that they should, right here. So I'm gonna guess that this one got pulled out. Common sense kind of tells you that. And yeah, I'm going to go with, this is the correct cable. I did order this online. Keep in mind, all four cables are different lengths. Uh, took me a few companies. I'll try to find the paperwork and add a link to that for where I actually bought this new cable from. Excellent service. And, uh, yeah, fast, friendly, five-star deal. Uh, rocks not included. <laughs> Let me pause this and we'll get this thing started out. All right. I am. I got the end right there. And we're going to fish this through. My ramps and everything else in my way. And we're going to pay attention over there, though. That's where all the pulley system starts. And uh, not too confusing, actually. Common person, pick it right up. So, oh, don't mind. Let's see if we can get a good shot for you guys, though. And that one did come from this pulley right here. So we're gonna get back around this and route it up and over. Reconnect it right into the line that it came out of. All right, back at it again. Okay, here's our little plate. Sorry, it's dark now. I had to take a little break for a little bit. This side of the cable with the fixed crimp end. And simply slide in. So you can see that to the open end. Out of that open end. Sorry, I had to cover for a second there. And uh, there we go. Hopefully, you can see that. I'm going to slide this piece up into the other notch out of the two way notch. Slide that tight. And then we're going to give this. Bring our adjustment back into about where it was at previously. And I just kind of glanced at it, and this is pretty adjustable actually. So we're going to bring it back to about where it was at previously. And it has a lot of a play of an adjustment. I'm going to slide on our backing nut, put that on as well. There's that. And when we get this back all locked in and set, I'll probably go ahead and lock this in, but I like to leave all adjustments somewhat loose and adjustable till everything is in point to where it will be uh, solidly locked in and working position, I would say. There you go. Our plates have stuck back together right here to this one, to that one. And, uh... I got a problem with this pin right here. So what I now need to do, these are all on dowels. So I'm gonna, just like the plate on the other one for the other roller, we're gonna pull this bolt, this bolt, and this plate will slide out of the way just enough to get out of the notch where I can drop this, move it a little bit, 
put the cable back in and slide up the whole unit back in perfect place. Let me go ahead and pause this. And we'll do so. And uh, we'll keep taping. All right, back to her. This cable right here, of course, did not want to fit. It was behind it on the back side of this pulley right here, on the back side towards the metal. About that much room. Basically, I had to pull these two, pull this pin, the safety clip off, and then drop the pin down and out to get both of these pulleys to drop and realign these pulleys with the cables riding on them as I slid it in one and then got the second one lined up, the upper one, then slid that into place as well. Oh, we got this piece right here with the double nut, the locking nut, lined back up, a special little clip back right here. And now what we got left is getting that cable mounted to our top post up there that hole right there okay now you can see that we're gonna go ahead and zoom that back out I'm gonna go ahead and get that routed up there do you notice this cable needs to be to the inside of the track on this side for this little roller it's a safety a secondary safety and being on this side, it's on this side of the roller. And that pulls it tight as the thing has tension on it as a secondary safety. So we're going to go ahead and route that up there now through the hole. Try to come into a close adjustment to what it already is prior or previously. We'll go ahead and get that in place and I'll resume video here. Bear with me. All right, we got her. I just put this through the hole. As you can see, we got a little bit of play. Don't forget your washer. But yeah, we got a little bit of play. The final adjustment will be when we actually get it on level ground, level ground, uh, first and foremost. But I'm gonna snug it up, take some of the slack off of it now. Now maybe we'll pop one more video on uh finish it off, but that's about it. And this is the uh, 8K, 8K four post by direct lift and cable replacement. Thanks for watching.